All right, folks. You guys have one of these uh, fancy Kohler showers <clears throat> with these uh, on and off valve up here, and then you got the, the top handle that adjusts to all the other shower heads that you have. The problem here is that the water did not shut off. When you have it in the off position, which is here, it constantly just kept dripping and dripping and dripping. So behind here, there's something called the stem assembly. Then behind there is a pressure balance valve. <clears throat> the pressure balance valve is basically just for your hot and cold water, but the stem assembly is your leaking problem. All right, now to change this stem assembly, it's pretty, pretty simple. It looks daunting, but don't be afraid of it. This piece here spins off, okay, ouch. This here will spin off, the handle will come off, and then this other piece will come off with it, okay? <coughs> now the stem assembly does not come with this brass adapter, okay, because it's actually, uh, it's geared, and this handle here is uh, square, all right? So you have to remove that. Don't forget to shut your water. So your cold water and your hot water off. Turn this valve off to make sure, well, turn your, your, your power on here to make sure that it's totally empty, totally dry. Then there's six screws over here that comes off. So two screws, you take this little adapter off because that's the part that for the handle to screw on. Two screws, this comes off. Then there's six screws all the way around. And then the whole assembly comes right off. I want to show you two on a new one. Hang on. All right, so here's the part number for it, 85500. All right, it's a stem valve assembly, three quarter inch pipe. This is what it looks like. Now, a sign to show that it was leaking. You can see it has a little stains over here. Got a little stain over here because it's coming out of a little seal over here. Okay, and it wouldn't shut off. No matter what you do with the handle, it can only go so far. So basically, by looking at this, one, two, three, four, five, six screws, and the thing pops right out. The kit, all right, will come with six new screws, silver screws. These are brass. It also come with that little tiny capsule. Looks like a pill, but that's actually a uh, lubricant. Okay, and it'll come with two little seals like this. All right, the O-ring is already installed on it, so you don't have to worry about it, but it comes with two little seals. And the two little seals, Go right back in here. All right, the O-ring is here. Okay, two seals, they sit in here. So I'm grab one of these out for you. There you go. All right, this is what they look like. So when you put your new one on, it only goes one way. All right, so you gotta figure out which way is the on or off, right? This is the off position, and then it goes to cold, and then it goes to hot, right? So it only goes this way from six o'clock to 11 o'clock. So you put it upside down, <laughs> then it's not gonna work. Okay, so it's gotta go this way so that the off position is the six and the hot water is at 11. All right, so basically the O-ring is already on it already. You just have to put these oval ones in. All right, so you pop open your little capsule over there. What I do is I just put a little bit on each of the four corners so that when you put the seal on there, it'll sit and it won't fall out, okay? Once it sits in there, it won't fall out. The rest of the little bit of lubricant, just put it on the outside, on the outside, and then all the way around here. A little dab and then you spread it around. All right, there's the instructions right there for you. It's pretty much basic. The six screws, O-ring comes with it already. And you're gonna put this straight on there and tighten up the six screws. All right, there's the capsule that tells you it's silicone lubricant. Don't get in your eyes. Don't stick your finger in your eyes. All right, so basically, you took this and you plugged it right in, okay? With mine, you had like a little uh, plastic uh, piece in there, so I had to go past there and then turn it in. Okay, six screws. Tighten it up, turn back your water, and you're good to go. All right, comes with the silver screws. I like these better. For some reason, the silver ones weren't that great. 
but that is the number okay they call it the bag came up as this number 79659 assembly cover that's the part number from cola okay the water's back on and it's good to go let's put the cover back on so once it's back on you put your little two screws back here you take a little cover okay line it up take this here oh one hand here it's going to be in the down position and screw it right back up all right so the off position is going to be straight down line it up put the name cola right there make it nice and tight Yowza. all right and we'll turn it on there you go and it's off, all right? Like I said, the original problem was when you shut it off, it just kept tripping. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Ciao.